Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to share some tricks to manage intumescent cataracts. The main challenge in intumescent cataracts is doing a CCC, that is continuous curvilinear capsular axis. And with this technique, with this two stage technique, you will find rexis very much predictable and safe. By this time, the main incision has been made, one side port has been made on the right side, and now this is the side port on the left side. The patient is under topical anesthesia. And now, this is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble. Here goes 0.06% tripan blue dye. The dye should touch on all parts of the capsule. And now, after 5-6 seconds, I wash the dye out of the anterior chamber. You can see enough staining has occurred within 5-6 seconds. And now I'm going to use only HPMC as the viscoelastic substance. Yes, only hydroxypropyl, methyl cellulose, and no other viscoelastic substance. And now I take a 26 case pen needle, go through the right side port, and make a C flap like this. Yes. And now I take a Eudota forceps. Convert this C flap into a small rexis around the anterior pole of this cataract. Yes. So around the anterior pole, a small rexis, which I call a mini rexis, has been done. And now through this small opening, I'm removing some cortex, some cortical lens matter. And what happens? Once some cortical matter is removed through this opening, the intralenticular pressure reduces drastically. And Enlarging this small rexis becomes very easy. We must take care that the anterior chamber should be flat all around. If there is a raised area, we have to be very careful at that part and the rexis can run out if there is a raised area even after removing some cortex and if you make a cut here at 5 o'clock or 4.30 o'clock that will be radial cut. Make a cut here at around 7 o'clock oblique cut and hold this go all around remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and do a very nice round axis. Yes, this has been a very satisfactory rexis. You can compare this to a femtorexis or a jeptorexis. So, dear colleagues, if you raise your skill to a certain level, you don't need femto or jepto. Because once you get these things, you are going to put a lot of burden on your patients and not only that your surgery time is going to increase putting a burden on the patient and wasting more time or spending more time in surgery these two things are not acceptable and now, this is direct job. 
very the deep into the substance of the nucleus and chop it and now hold it at another place and chop and now each fragment is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is being removed Fecal power used in this case is 60%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The next step, the cortical cleanup is being edited in this case, and after cortical cleanup this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens being placed in the capsular bag the haptics are placed 90 degree away from the main incision and then thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done from the capsular bag as well as from the anterior chamber. And then the side ports are hydrated so that these stab incisions get closed and become watertight. In this case, I have used a bit of pilocarpine because the patient wants to drive himself on our after surgery. And now, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please raise your skills to a certain level so that you don't need femto or gypto for cataract surgery.